when you're building a home gym, what were your must haves in your home gym? And then building off of that, if you had to, you could have 10 pieces in your home gym, any space, size, money is not of issue. What would it be? So the pieces I absolutely needed, right, were I, I needed. So right now I do have a small space. And so that's important in terms of context. And so what I wanted the most is I wanted cables. I needed a, a rack, right? I needed dumbbells. And a, I needed a bench. That counts. And I needed a, or wanted, a seated leg curl and a lying leg curl. Or seated leg extension, sorry. And a lying leg curl. And so that's kind of what I have now, right? I have those main pieces. I have, you know, pretty much everything I have is from Prime. Um, but I have their Prodigy Rack, which is essentially it's your squat rack. It's your functional trainer. It's your lat pull down. It's your row. It's your everything, right? It's mm. it's an entire sort of gym setup in one. And that took care of all of those pieces, you know, essentially for me. And then the dumbbells were obviously extremely helpful for, you know, dumbbells are very useful in many places. Um, I, I just have the, uh, I have adjustable dumbbells that go from five to 80 in increments of five, which for me, you know, in terms of pressing and stuff like that, like I have to graduate to using other things. So I have, I have a multi-grip football bar um, that helps it cut. The multi-grip football bar kind of bridges the gap between dumbbells and barbells, right? So instead of being fixed into this pronated position on a barbell, the multi-grip bar allows you to be more semi-pronated or neutral, which emulates more of where your arm path is and wrist position is with a dumbbell, which is really kind of the biggest advantage of a dumbbell is being able to fit that better to your structure, right? So. Um, that's a big piece. And then, um, I, re I really wanted the leg extension and lying leg curl because those are two positions that are next to impossible to recreate without those pieces of equipment. Um, especially to the point at which you can load them, right? Like, you know, you can, you can Jimmy rig some type of leg extension. You can Jimmy rig some type of lying leg curl, but you can't really by Jimmy rigging it, you can't really load it as much, right? As you get stronger and stronger. So um, those two pieces were really, really important to me. And that's really all I have in my space is that power up the, the rack with the functional trainer and then the dumbbells and then the combo unit of leg extension, lying leg curl. Um, what are, the way you did a uh, seated calf raise on that too is awesome. I never even thought about that. Oh yeah, that's it's, uh, yeah. So obviously, you know, you, you want some type of um, you want some type of calf raise, right? And the a lying leg curl allows you to have a seated leg curl or a seated calf raise machine built right in, right? You just have to you have to have a platform in which you can create more range of motion for your ankle, right? So or your foot to to go through, and so. I have a utility ladder in my gym that just lives in my garage. That's right off my gym. And so I just, you mean cap grab... machine, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just this, it's this cobalt utility ladder that I got from home Depot, you know, that also is the thing that I use it, you know, around my house, but that's mainly what it's for. But I was looking at that. I was like, I want to, I want to do a calf raise. I, I want to load my calves. I want a way to really kind of challenge my calves at home. And so I was just, you know, I'd done it before in other gyms when I was traveling and teaching and stuff, we'd had to set up, you know, you have to start to innovate more. And, you know, if a gym doesn't have any type of calf raise or anything like that, you kind of get innovative and you start looking at stuff and you're like, that would work. I could, I could do that. Um, and so that, that's that. I don't know where that, this is a terrible way to answer these, but I don't know where that leaves me in terms of pieces of equipment or, no, it was, you know, I think you were at. Nine. But sorry, right, let's say if you had one or two more pieces, unlimited space, what would you add on there? Personally, 
what I would add to the gym setup I have currently, um, which again is is minimal, but gets really kind of does everything I'd want it to, um, allows me to move in every kind of different movement pattern, and it allows me to load each joint sufficiently, which was the important part to me. It allows me to work through different, uh, allows me to challenge different resistance profiles within those joint positions too, which is important. Um, most notably to like the seated leg extension and lying leg curl, um, which are hard to recreate again at those, to load those joint angles sufficiently. Um, but the one thing that I would add that I don't have is uh, a leg press. I just like a, a Cyvex, um, the pivot press. I just think those are just a leg press that pivots really well. And, and it, it's, it's, uh, yeah, if you if you've used it, it's a, it's the side X leg press essentially. That uh, it's just you get on it. It's so smooth. You can load up so well. You can drive so much volume and stimulus to your lower body without any extra load on your spine or anything like that. And it's just, I think it's an unbeatable piece of equipment. Uh, honestly, I I love it. You know, and that's a luxury item, but. That's one of those things where it's like, why would you want that? It's like, are you kidding me? Like, why, why wouldn't you? Yeah. You know, and you can obviously on the leg press, you can adjust your, you can adjust your foot position and, and start to bias other muscle groups a little bit more over another. But ultimately, it's just, it's a way to get an unbelievable amount of stimulus and tension on your lower body without having to load your spine, which to me is, is awesome because, you know, if you're thinking about, you know, other movements with barbells and stuff, like you're just constantly loading your spine, you know, which again, is great, but there's a point at which it's like, okay, it's diminishing taxing. return. Yeah. Yeah. It's a point of diminishing returns and it's taxing and I got to recover from that. But if, if I can, instead of doing 10 sets of squats, I can do f four or five sets of squats and then get the remaining volume on the leg press. Like I recover from that so easily. Right. And so that's just over across, you know, across a year of training or 10 years of training, that's millions of pounds of volume, right? Mm -hmm. In terms of years of training, like you're getting millions of more pounds of tonnage on your, on your lower body without having to load your spine there. It's like, yeah, that's awesome. Um, what are you hitting legs with now at home? So I mainly, my main you know, obviously it kind of depends on the muscle groups, right? But my, my main lower body movements at home are barbell focused, right? So squat patterns and, um, squat patterns and deadlift patterns. Oh, I have a trap bar too. Okay. Sorry. That's my tent. Or that's the, that's the other one. Um, I do have a trap bar. And so that allows me to, and it's obviously a trap bar is, is a little bit more luxury as well. Um, I, I, a trap bar is sort of akin to the multi grip bar just for the lower kind of rather than pressing you're kind of yeah so it, the upper body push it's the lower body push equivalent to the you know to the multi grip bar um but i like the trap bar it's very versatile you you know you can perform rdls you can perform um all types of different variations uh squat pattern variations lunges split squats um there as well i have the prime one which is nice. adjustable and open and so you know you you're not limited by having to step in the middle of it and being you know you can do lunges with it you can do different variations with it um split squat variations whatever but also the load is is more central right it's it's more aligned with that center of mass and you know you just again you're driving a ton of stimulus there um, without having to uh, obviously manage the displacement of that load, um, as much, right. Which again, is just less strain on your low back and less, you know, just less to recover from. Again, you can get more tonnage and get more volume in efficiently, which again, is kind of the name of the game. How do I get this in efficiently? And how do I set it up in a way where I can continue to show up and do it? <clears throat> and yeah, that, that, I'd say that's my, I mean, in terms of packaging that answer, it's, that was horrible, but <laughs> it was, it was a good list. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I guess 
can we list them out? So that's, that's a power rack, right? With adjustable cables. So, yep. so you got your functional trainer, your power rack in one. That counts as one though. That's what's one piece. One piece, right. Okay. So that's one piece. The dumbbells. Seated leg extension. Line yeah. by curl. Are we counting that as one? Because it's a combo yeah. unit. It's a combo unit. It counts as one. All right. Okay. So that's three. Um, trap bar, if you want to count that. Yeah. It's, yeah. Trap bar. And then your uh, power bar, power rack bar, or football bar, mm-hmm. the multi grip football bar. Um, and then I would add the like press. Okay. Six to that. That's six. Um, and again, like I don't have much else I truly need, right? You can start getting into like, yeah, again, like I, I don't know what else you truly need. I, I think other, I guess, machines, like um, back machines, vertical, like a vertical pole machine and a, and a horizontal rowing machine, like mm. something that's chest supported, ideally, um, would be great if I had unlimited space and budget. Um, but I'd say those are like really the only other two pieces that I would reasonably want to have, because again, I just, if you look at the heat map of me in a gym, like I don't, I just, I kind of just hammer the same, like I just hammer the things that, that work and do uh, kind of cover my bases. And then all of the other s- smaller stuff you can really do on with cables and dumbbells. So like, yeah. I don't, you don't really need a ton of stuff. Um, 